We're gonna have some fun. We're gonna play some games. It's Joy Town. Hooray! Hey, boys and girls. Today we're gonna be using the Play-Doh Meal Making Kitchen. This is a really neat set. It has a lot of cool things inside. So let's go ahead, we'll open the box, and maybe we'll make some food. Is anybody hungry? The first thing we see when we open the box are some recipes. It tells us how to make tacos, pizza, sandwiches, all kinds of different things. Next up we have the Play-Doh, brown, white, green, and yellow. A knife, a fork, and a spoon. It also has a toaster inside. We can make toast. I can't wait to use this. We'll have to try that out in a little bit. We've got a spatula and a pan. There's also a mold to make steak and chicken. Mmm. Here's another mold. We can make broccoli, butter, sausage, all kinds of things. I am getting hungry. This here will be used to make shapes. We can put in Play-Doh in the top and squeeze it really tight and then different shapes will come out. There's a pizza cutter right there too. And a rolling pin. This is the oven. You can open the door, check inside. It also has some knobs you can turn. The rolling pin attaches to one of the molds, which attaches to the oven, and it makes kind of like a table. There's also a piece that hooks up to that so it doesn't fall over. On the back of the oven, there's some hooks that we can hang our knife, spoon, and fork on. We'll get to those in a little bit. First, we gotta make some food. Get all of our stuff ready, our frying pan, put our tray in the oven, put our plate on top, and our pizza cutter, and I think we're ready to go. I say we make some steak, potatoes, and green beans. Looks pretty good. Even the boy in the back has that. And he looks pretty happy, so I say we do it. We'll start with some brown Play-Doh, put it in the mold, and we'll squeeze it as hard as we can. Let's open it up and see. There it is, our steak. It looks so good, but we're not done yet. Let's put it on our plate. Next, we're gonna make the mashed potatoes. We use the white Play-Doh for the potatoes, and we're gonna save the brown brown play-doh. I almost said brown potatoes. We'll save the brown play-doh for gravy. We'll poke a little hole on the white play-doh and then we'll lay our gravy on top. Gravy just kind of hangs out on top of the potatoes. So that's what we're going to do. We're just going to put it right on top. And there it is. All right, we're almost done, but we need a vegetable. We're going to make some green beans. Take a little bit of green Play-Doh. Put it inside and we gotta squeeze it really hard because when we squeeze it, it's gonna make a long shape. Are you ready? Watch, here we go. Green beans, there they are. They're so cute. But we gotta cut them up. We're gonna get our pizza cutter we're gonna cut them into small pieces. Don't they look so yummy? Oh, they do! Oh, one fell on my hand, I better eat it! Nom, 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 nom. So there's our first plate. Steak, potatoes, and green beans. But, I say we make something else too, because we're really hungry. How about a taco? We'll take the yellow Play-Doh, we'll roll it into a ball, and then we'll smash it into a tortilla. Wonderful. Now we'll put the meat or the beans on top. Some people eat meat, some people eat beans. 
and we'll use some of the green beans that we had earlier and pretend they're lettuce this time. We'll use the same tool and we'll make some white and yellow strings. This will be the cheese. Some people put other things on their tacos, like tomatoes and salsa. We're just gonna go with lettuce and cheese. Look at that. That is really yummy looking. How about we, how about we take a bite? Um. Let's put it on our plate and we'll make one more thing. We're gonna use the toaster this time because we wanna make a grilled cheese. To make the bread, we'll use some white Play-Doh. Put it in the toaster. And then when we put the other part in and squeeze, it should come from the top. Are you ready? Here we go. It's done. Ding. I use a yellow piece of Play-Doh as well to make some cheese. You can't have a grilled cheese without cheese. We put it in between the bread, and then we're gonna put it on top of the stove. Ready to flip. Good job. Let's give it a little pat. Looking good. I think with our grilled cheese, we should also have some broccoli and some sausage. Here's our food. Doesn't it look so good? This Play-Doh kitchen set is really neat. It comes with all sorts of things that we can make tons of food. I think next time I'm gonna make a pizza. But for now, I've got plenty to eat. So, I'm gonna pick up my knife and fork and get to it. This is Toy Town, and I wanna thank you for watching. We're gonna have some fun, we're gonna play some games, it's Joy Town, hooray!